it's that time again, y'all. We are in week seven of the Etsy journey. So I'm going to go over a few things today. I'm going to talk about some of the revamps I made and what made me decide to switch a few things up. I'm also going to jump onto my computer. You're going to actually see the tool that I use to organize my whole Etsy life and business. So you're going to see that you're going to see how I keep up with my stats and how I track everything. And also I'm going to manipulate some data so we can cover just the seventh week. And then we're going to go and do uh, overall to see if I'm on target or on track to hitting the goals that I set for the month of September for the Etsy shop. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so glad you're here. I am Dee Willis, the design diva, and what I talk about on my channel is digital products, Etsy, entrepreneurship, and design. So if that's something you into, make sure that you like and subscribe. I'm definitely honored to have you here, and I don't want to take up too much of anybody's time, so we're going to get ready to jump right on into my computer, so that way you guys can see what happened the week of Labor Day. So we're after the holiday now. It is now Sunday, September the 11th, 2.40 a.m. Yes, I am up late, baby, because I wanted to get this to you. I was designing all day, and I wanted to get this video out to you, okay? Now, I'm not going to go into detail in this video in the goals I made, why I made them. I'm not going to do that. What I will do, though, is link a video in the description and you will see it up here. You can go watch that after so you can get a clear understanding of the goals. And also I'm gonna link the other video down in the comments, um, not the comments, but the description below. So that way you can see the first 44 days of my Etsy journey. Again, we are coming into week seven, all right? So let's dive right on into my computer so we can look at these stats. All right, guys, we have jumped into my Notion. This is my Prosper Hub right here. This is where I keep track of everything in my Etsy business as well as in my personal. So if you're not familiar with Notion, it is like a project management system. It's like the combination of Trello, Asana, Monday, Airtable, all in one. It's so much you can do with Notion. It makes no sense. So what I'm going to do right now is jump right into my Etsy shop tracker because this is where I track all my Etsy data and I'm able to have that data all in one place. So let's do this here. I am in the week filter already and you will see this filter a lot week by week. Okay, so I'm going to kind of give you an overview before I step into the stats here of my Etsy tracker. If this is something that you're interested in having, if you want me to share this Notion template with you, go ahead and type template below in the comments right now. Go ahead and do that. I will pick a lucky winner to give this tracker to. It is already ready. Let me clear that filter out. So these are all the stats from the very first day that I opened up the shop. As you can see, we're only seven weeks in, okay? And I have some filters in here, so that way I'm ready to write the new. Let me delete this out of here. I'm ready to write September the 11th. Again, it's only 2 a.m., so the day ain't over with for me to get the stats yet. So that's the next one in line. I also have a calendar view where all the stats are in place and they are in place all the way, all the dates from July the 22nd when the store first opened all the way into now, okay? So that's the calendar view and then we're going to jump to the weekly view so we can cover the stats for this week. So week seven. This is September the 4th, which is Sunday. So it's going from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so we went through all the days. And of course, you're getting this video later today on Sunday. Okay, so here go the stats. I had a total. Let's see how many visits I had total. 
I had a total of 394 visits this week. There were a total of six orders and the conversion rate was 1.957% and the revenue this week was $46. And I've uploaded seven new items this week, okay? So far as the visits are concerned, it looks like we're doing good. Okay, it looks like we're we're doing a little bit okay in, in, in that area. So far as the orders, I wish the orders would have picked up a little bit more. I'm definitely below the target for the conversion rate. Revenue is, you know, is, is pretty good for the week. But again, I missed sales on three days in a row after, well, four days in a row after Labor Day. Okay, now. Let's talk a little bit about, about these numbers. As you can see, I had 104 visits right here. The majority of visits on the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, and trickling into the 9th. But just really these three days, a lot of those visits came from YouTube, so they weren't even my target market. And that's why in my previous video, I asked, try not to go to the shop, try not to be nosy, because it's going to mess up the conversion rates and the stats. Now, I also explained in a previous video as well, that's why a lot of Etsy store owners will not give you the name of their shop. And then a lot of subscribers or a lot of commentators will go into the comments and say, why don't you share your shop? Why don't you share your shop? Because of things like this. This is why. Because now it's, gonna, it's hard for me to report accurate data to you because these aren't Etsy searches, they're coming from YouTube. <laughs> so now it's, it, it's made it kind of harder. And that's another reason why I'm not going to go over the Etsy search results. Because in my previous video, and I'm going to link that below for you, I went over the changes I made in my store on the homepage for SEO purposes. Those stats got all messed up, right? Because of this. So I I can't really report that because it wouldn't be accurate. It would just be a fluff. And if I was not being completely honest, you would be thinking I got 394 legit visits for the week. But I can't say that they're legit. 78% of the visits between these three days from my stats all came from YouTube and that's just basically people being nosy. That wasn't even the target audience. So that kind of hurt this week's numbers, but I have a plan in place to take out those numbers at the end of the month to see if I'm really going to hit real accurate numbers. Now it might be some people that's coming to my Etsy shop from YouTube. That's really my target audience, you know, and but there's some that's not, right? I've been getting messages, some messages lately since I posted the very first video talking about my first 44 days and my results. And I did get some really good natural results in those first 44 days. And here we go, you know, day 45, 46, you know, <laughs> here we go. We're, we're, we're going on and the stats are changing a little bit, but that's okay. I kind of figured nobody was going to listen to me. <laughs> so I'm prepared to take these numbers out and try to get as accurate by the end of the month as possible. Now, before we jump over into the month view to see if I'm on track to hitting the overall goals. And again, that link to that video for the goals I set for September will be in the description below. And I'll also put it up on the screen right here for you. Now, I made some more revamps to the store. I made some more revamps. I went back in and I changed a few things. I had to think when I started getting this traffic and start getting messages from some of my subscribers, it really, really was like, okay, D, you need to think about this and you really need to revamp at this point because there's people out here that need your 
your templates, your help, and things like that. So I kind of revamped. I also took a look at my top three competitors on Etsy. I mean, I went all the way in. So the, the video with the SEO on the homepage was changed a little bit, okay? Now, that doesn't mean it's not legit. If you watch that video, use that video as a template. I just went back and made some changes to my store based off of the data I looked at from my competitors. So I went back and I made a few changes from that video before. And that's kind of the revamp I wanted to talk to you about a little bit. I also brought in my niche to be entrepreneurs, but the graphics are still remaining the same. I'm still in the realm of service-based businesses. Even though it's entrepreneurs, is more service-based business. Those people who are providing services or who offer a service or who offers a template or who offers that's still providing a service. So I kind of broadened it a little bit based on things that people were asking me about in the DM and from what I was seeing on the shop and from my competitors. I needed to have a different angle. And so that would be my approach from my competitors. Okay, so now that you have the revamp, let's jump in to see if I'm on track to hitting the goals for September. So I'm going to go over here to September's view. In September's view, show me every day of the month so far. Now, the way I have this set up, if I go back to all, you see September the 11th is not filled out yet. If I was to add September 12th right here and then go back to September, you see the 12th added itself automatically, okay? And if I go and delete this out like I did in the beginning and come back, it's gone. That is because this is my main board. And that's why when I check it off and say it's completed, it kind of disappears because I got this this filter on and that's why I have it. I can clear the filter, of course, and have all the dates from the date I started. But then that'll make me have to keep scrolling all the way down and get to the new button. And I don't want to do that. So what I did was I want everything that's unchecked to show. That way it gives me the new button closer. And then I have it sharing over into the months. Again, if you would like this template, Go ahead and comment template the word template below and I'll pick somebody that I'll give this give this template to for free. I also have the 2023 uh, already ready as well for next year. And um, I think I'm going to probably make that one available in the shop. But this is already taken care of and you can filter per week in this as well so you can have your week breakdown if you're trying to track your own numbers whether you're doing it in etsy or whether you're tracking shopify it doesn't matter what you're doing if you like to track your data like i do okay so i don't never trust nobody's numbers but my own <laughs> so with that being said as of the 10th because that's when these numbers stop so as of the 10th if we were on goal for visits, I'm actually over the goal. Okay, so we're 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 hitting visits, so that's good. The conversion rate, we close. Okay, based on the September goal, we are close. If you don't know what the September goals are, you need to go watch the September goals video. It's going to be below. So we are on track. I mean, we're below goal, but we close. Now, there's 15 items, more items in the shop from, you know, what was there. I know good and well, we should be, we should hit goal if I can keep this up. If I can keep up 15 a week, we should be good, right? And orders. Now, this hurt me. Those four days of orders hurt me, um, but we're still 
we're still over goal. A little, you know, we're 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 over. We exceeded where we are. We're on track for that. And so far as the monetary goal, the revenue goal for September, we are over. So the only thing that we're lacking right now is the conversion rates. But all of this hurt. That's all those zeros hurt that average. Okay. So that's where we are. We're on goal. The only thing I need to pick up at this point would be the conversion rates. So that's where we're at, guys. That's exactly where we're at right now. As you can see, I got my trusted coffee cup because it is early and I'm recording, honey. <laughs> I need my coffee. You got to excuse me because I need my coffee. Okay. So we're on track, guys. I'm making a few more changes. Also, in the previous video, I did tell you that I had a side goal. And I told you that I would let you know in the upcoming video what that side goal was. That side goal was for me to grow my YouTube subscribers to 75 subscribers. And that is because when, before I started uploading my Etsy journey, I set the goal for 75 subscribers and that is because at the time I only had 67 subscribers and if you were to look at my channel you would see that I have a lot of other things on there affiliate marketing I have my digital products I do have 42 books low content books and on Amazon okay so I'm always been into the passive income and digital products. Okay. And that's why I kept those videos on the channel. That way you guys can, can see that if that is something that you're into, because there's a lot of digital products that you could sell, not only on Etsy, but on in Gumroad and on Koji and on you know, or through Thrivecart, through your own WooCommerce, on um, WordPress, on Shopify, on Wix. It's so much. It's just about making the product, the digital product itself. And there's a lot of different digital products you can make. So I kept that information on my channel. But it took so long <laughs> for me to get the 67 subscribers. I said, well, hey by the end of September that will be a side goal because that wasn't the main goal the main goal was for me to blow up my Etsy because I've never done Etsy before this is the first time and I wanted to document how everything was going because most of the people I saw on YouTube talking about Etsy was telling me how they reached their thousands and thousands of dollars but they've been open for five years I want to see it from the beginning, but then when I scroll back to look at videos, they first video wasn't until they got became successful. I want to see the trials, the tribulations. I want to see what you went through and what you was thinking about during the time that you was going through it, what was running through your mind. <laughs> so that's what I'm deciding to bring to the table. And if that's something that you're interested in, if you want to know, like, hey, from the beginning, like, what are you thinking? What what was crossing your mind? So that way, if you're going through the journey and you're sitting here like, did she feel like that? Because I feel like, is that normal? I want you to know if it's normal or not. When I looked at this week's numbers, I wasn't disheartened or anything. I wasn't ready to quit. I wasn't ready. To, you know, I'm not ready to throw in a towel because it was something that I was suspecting. And if you watched the videos before, you would know that I was like, I don't know if Labor Day is playing into the search results. But then something else unexpected, kind of expected. I was like, okay, what if I was hoping people would listen to me and not just go be nosy on my thing? But no, I guess that didn't happen. They went in there anyway. They didn't care that they messed up my conversion rates, okay? <laughs> But I had a backup plan in case that did happen, okay? So I'm not about to hide the Etsy store, 
okay? Because I know some people hide. Now, what I did decide to do is make another one. And that one I'm not telling you guys about. <laughs> so that's another thing that came into play was another another Etsy store and that I'm not going to mention. And then I may share stats from that one, right? Um, and never mention it. So don't try to go Google D, the design D, man, don't do that because it ain't under none of that. It's completely hidden. <laughs> but I will share this one as as the one. But this is the one. This is my main one right here that you guys got a hold of, right? So not unless something happened with the other one. So I am being totally honest and giving you all the the deets, okay? You got all the details in regards to that. But those are some of the things that um, I did and some of the things I was thinking about. I, I'm expecting that it was going to be low after Labor Day. Now it's like, okay, what do they really want? What's going to sell all year round? What is not just going to be seasonal? So by me getting all the sales that I got during that time, what I was thinking was I need to make products that people will want on an every day. That's what's going to keep my income flowing every day. Or that's my thought process, right? I can't just rely on the seasonal or holiday shebang, right? I need consistent sales. So now I need to start really knowing what people are searching for just on the off, not even during the holiday time. And again, by me being in the fashion and, and beauty industry, I kind of knew what they were going to be looking for. So I made a lot of products around that instead of broadening the products to also catch the people who are not holiday, quote unquote, shopping. So that's what I'm going to be working on this upcoming week. And I've been designing other graphics and things like that. Again, if this is some information that you like, go ahead, like, subscribe. And if you want the opportunity to be chosen to get this free template, uh, this Notion template, go ahead and comment template below. I'll pick somebody that's down there and I'll send you the template link, okay? All right, into next video, boo. Bye.